So right now I'm in the menu. What you're seeing is the in-flight camera. It will switch over to the regular camera momentarily. And you'll notice I put the in-flight camera up in full screen uh, as much as possible to show you what settings I did. For these first settings, I did natural 4K at 30 frames per second, standard video mode, auto on the isolation, uh, and the shutter speed and the white balance, and didn't do any e compensation. And not facing the sun, I'm gonna say it looks incredible. Now we're gonna turn it into the sun. Uh, you see it rotating here. That footage actually looks phenomenal. Okay, I just got a little bit of sun glare. There is no ND filter on this yet. Okay, you can see the sun's bleached out. And the camera's doing its job and pulling it in. But everything else got dark. Obviously, this is a lower light condition because the sun is setting. But... It did look good. Naturally, on any, on any camera, you don't want to point it into the sun uh, unless you're trying to capture the sunset. When you only have a half inch sensor, it doesn't do so well with the isolation. So that's where the polarized ND filters come into play. People don't understand uh, what the polarized versus the neutral density filters are for. You'll notice I'm spinning the drone, the sun glare again. The footage looks great. It's smooth. I'm not getting any lag yet. It actually looks really smooth. Now you can see the trees are a little sun bleached. Okay, no biggie. It, the footage looks good, it looks 4K. So, uh, just going right off the bat, comparing it to the Mavic Pro, I'm going to say that the footage looks good. Um, however, I think in these bright sun conditions, a polarized filter is necessary. Now we're switching it, we went to uh, we went to the P-Log, which kind of gives you the option to go in and color grade everything yourself. Now, this is my second spin around. The footage looks clear. Still got sun glare. Again, gonna need to get a, a polarized filter. I haven't tried any color grading with the P-Log from the Anafi yet, so I'm going to do that. But right now I just want to do straight camera tests and see how it works. And the footage looks good. I can see the clouds in the sky. Uh, I noticed a lot of people with Anafi footage uh, did not fix their horizon. They did not calibrate. That's downtown Clearwater. Hi! Uh, they did not fix their horizon. I noticed everybody flying with this drone has got a crooked ass horizon. Before you take off, set it on something level. It's a real simple fix. You just go into in a settings, calibrate the camera. All right, now we're going into intense. This is the intense camera mode. Anyways, you can quickly calibrate the horizon. See, now mine's a little bit tilted. A little bit tilted. But it was straight before. We're gonna use the zoom feature. I like to use the uh, lossless zoom so you don't lose any pixelation. Footage looks good. So this is the intent, uh, or intense film mode in auto at 4K at 30 frames per second, as you can see on the 
in-flight camera, you can see that all the settings I have on the in-flight camera. So, ooh, the trees look burnt. Okay. So, so, so far, the natural looks the best so far in auto. So far, the natural has done the best job. What do you mean? Um, yeah. I thought you were going to turn your geofencing on. I do not believe I used the pastel at all. Uh, because I just don't. Yeah, I, di I didn't use the pastel. We're back to natural. Now I'm using Pro White Balance and I'm clicking to Sunny. Okay. So I'm setting the Sun Balance to Sunny. We have got lots of green, it's clear, but man is that sky bleached out. And we got some lens glare coming right into the camera. So uh, I would recommend getting an NDPL 16 filter, especially if you're in Florida like I am. I believe this camera would film phenomenally with that filter. I'm going to get one, slap it on it. See, now this looks fantastic. All the colors look great. The trees don't look burnt. I'm going to comment on the smoothness of... I know I'm just spinning around in a circle, but I'm going to comment that there has been no lag in the video. I didn't do anything in post. All I did was legit put this footage up. I rendered it in 4K, in absolute 4K. Um, there is two types of 4K. There's, you know, your normal everyday 4K, 3800 by 8. 1920 whatever you know that's the lower grade 4k and then there's 4020 by 2160 which is true absolute 4k uh, at the very end of this video I film in that mode uh, now we're in P log with pro settings with the white balance set to sunny <laughs> And this particular one, I definitely want to try to color grade and see if I can pull that sun out of the sky, but it's so bleached out, I don't think I can. Definitely need that polarized filter. Yeah, there goes the sun. 111 right feet, and you are However, just sucking up all the fucking The footage does look signal. great, and it is smooth. Today was kind Legit. of a windy day. No, it we wasn't ain't. that windy. But it was a little bit windy. Fly your bird away from my. And I, baby. yeah, you can see the trees blowing over there. It's pretty windy, and the camera's super stable. I'm trying so, to do camera tests. This tiny up. little bird, for the price, is filming a pretty good quality. No joke. Okay, so. The camera's not a joke. With a simple filter, you can have a high quality uh, video with this drone. Okay, now we're in intense at pro settings with the white balance set to sunny. And as you can see, I still have a bleached effect and the trees look. This intense mode actually looks a little better than the intense mode in auto settings. The colors look a little better. Again, the camera's really smooth. Still getting the sun glare. We gotta get rid of that sun glare with the filter. So we will be doing that. Uh, but this is my absolute first maiden voyage with the bird.
Yeah, intense mode makes everything look really brown, which... Those trees are... This is Florida. We're tropical. Everything is green. The ground is brown, but the trees are green. So... I mean, overall, the camera's doing a pretty good job. I would never film in an intense mode. Uh, I haven't tried any night footage. I have not taken this thing on a distance flight, a height flight. This is just a basic camera settings test. So now we're going into HDR. 4K at 30 frames per second with pro settings on. Okay, now we got sun glare. And I have pixelation. It did help with the colors. pixelated to me. Everything else looked way crisper. And I think if you're watching this on YouTube in 4K, look, those trees look burnt. No, that's, that's just not going to cut it. So far, the best footage was the natural in auto with no filter. And I haven't tried anything with the P-Lock clips, so going to try to color grade those for another video. But for the next flight that I do, which will be tomorrow, we'll be flying to wherever I decide to go. This is one of the great features of the camera. You can point into the sky, look, the heavens. That's, that is one of the, I mean, you could point it straight up. You could fly under a bridge, point it straight up, and look at the underneath of bridges, and over past railroads, and up mountains, and into the canopies of trees. That is the one feature that really stands out about this, and it has a lossless zoom feature. Um, which is awesome. So it's got a couple, which I didn't see any loss in pixelation with the zoom, with the loss of the zoom. I have not tried the uh, dolly effect or whatever they called it yet. I'm going to do that, but right now it's straight, just looking at the, okay, this is HDR in auto, and it looks even more burnt. So I don't know. It does look crisper, as far as it's not pixelated. I see some pixelation on the power lines a little bit, uh, but not, it's not as pixelated as, uh, as it was in the uh, pro settings. understand that these companies don't do is make like they know they have a half inch sensor camera they should make a they should make a uh, setting. I think, you know, everybody would agree that most cameras you buy, like a GoPro or whatever, you know, even your cell phone has a tiny little camera in it, and when it peers into the sun, it does a good job of capturing the sunset, does it not? I understand that video and photo are two totally different things, but in reality, they're not. They're both using shutter speed, both using isolation, 
and they're both using white balance uh, and contrast and saturation, etc. and so forth. So, um, right now we are going into actually showing once we point it out of the light I'm gonna say that's probably the and I'm even bobbing the camera up and down and left oh well right the tree is a little bit burnt I think with a neutral density filter on this this may make the best footage you can see the tiles and the shingles on the roots trees are crisp and clear. I think this would be strictly like a cinema mode, which it is. Um, slow, steady flying, getting the absolute perfect, beautiful shot. The sky looks, the sky looks exactly the way the sky looked. No doubt about it. There's very few clouds. It was super blue. That sky could be a little bit bluer. I think that's where the P-Log is so special about this particular drone is that, you know, if you set your white balance, you can uh, really draw out these colors. But I'm going to say that this, looking at this in the native 4K, on a native 4K screen, in absolute true 4K, has looked better than every other setting except for when I pointed at the sun, obviously all the other things drop. So, and what you see out there is the, you see Clearwater Beach pointed right at it, Dunedin, kind of the border of Dun Dunedin and Clearwater. That's Clearwater North Beach, uh, directly under the sun. Now we're going to take a couple snapshots. Uh, everybody, wow, yeah, that looks amazing. Okay, I probably could have done some adjust. I didn't, I didn't do any adjustments to the camera. Uh, everybody just said to use the the rack, the JPEG rack. That's the P log. Now I can color grade that. I'll go into a tent. Oh, that looks. I'm not gonna give the intense a thumbs up. I will give the cinema mode in 4K 24 frames per second a thumbs up. I, it needs a filter. Uh, and for just your regular flying, the natural 4K and auto settings seems to do the best job. So, I'll leave that in auto. Um, I was super, super skeptical. Uh, I definitely wanted good camera quality. Um, 
it's got great camera cop quality. 21 megapixel. Films in 4K. This is 4K. It's as 4K as it gets. Uh, looks great. The drone is smooth. Uh, in windy conditions. My horizon's super crooked. Seems like you gotta make sure. I could have fixed the horizon in post, but you know what? I mean, there's that zoom feature.